James, take it away. Great, thank you, Christine. Um, let me share my screen here. Um, okay, and Christine, are you able to see my slides in the full screen and change the channel? Yep, perfect, okay, thank great. you. Great, so um, th thanks a lot, uh, Christine and Abhijit, um, for also organizing this. It's been, been a lot of work. Um, so, so to start today, um, we're really going to go over kind of the basics of the, the Jetscape framework itself, um, with, with emphasis really on, on the technical side of things. How does the framework work? How do you run it? Um, and so I'll start off giving kind of a, a lecture overviewing some of these and then the bulk of the time today um, we'll actually go into a hands-on session to, to get experience um, uh, running things. Um, so I, as was mentioned if you have questions um, either during the lecture or during this the, the hands-on session that will follow um, please use this this um, slack channel uh, for the software discussion um, for today. So okay, taking taking first just a, a, a step back and a broad look at, at what is Jetscape. Um, Jetscape really comes in two distinct pieces. Um, there is a, a, an event generator and there is a statistical toolkit. Um, so today I will be talking only about the event generator um, and, and specifically um, kind of the framework aspect of that as opposed to, to the physics side of that we'll hear really a lot about the physics discussion that's inside of Jetscape in, in the coming days. Um, and then, as Christine mentioned, in the later sessions of, of the school, um, we'll, we'll hear also details about the statistical framework uh, that comes with Jetscape. So Jetscape itself is, is really a general purpose Monte Carlo framework. Um, so although it does have the word jet in the name, uh, it's important to emphasize that Jetscape really is not just for jets, but um, it was quickly realized that once, once you want to develop a, a, an event generator for jet physics and heavy ion collisions, you of course need to generate the entire event. Um, and so the, the use of Jetscape is actually can be much broader than just for jets, but can actually be for um, really general purpose um, event generation in heavy ion collisions. And the, the design philosophy or motivation of Jetscape is um, firstly that the framework should be modular. And that, uh, that idea is that um, there is a framework piece which decides um, how various physics modules actually connect to each other. Um, but those modules themselves can be contributed by users. So for example, an expert in jet energy loss can use code from uh, an expert in hydrodynamics. And a second kind of important um, development in, in the field, I think, for, uh, for Jetscape is that these physics modules are then open source. And so this really helps um, that the theoretical predictions can be uh, kind of very transparent and very reproducible um, when we compare to data and try to really learn about the physics mechanisms. Now, one can ask why actually we need a framework to do this, as opposed to not just have a set of different um, Monte Carlo generators, which is more how things have been done in the past. Um, and, and an important motivation for this is that we have in heavy ion collisions, a really a multi-stage event, right? There, there are multiple different stages of a heavy ion collision, you know, the, the initial state, the hydrodynamic evolution, jet evolution, hydronization, and so on. And often we're kind of targeting where we want to learn or understand one piece of that. Um, and so what a framework offers the benefit of is that we have actually theoretical control over the other stages of the evolution, which we might not want to compare different models of. So we can kind of fix uh, how um, certain parts of the event evolution are described and investigate a more targeted piece of this. Um, so this, this is kind of a, a largely unique capability of Jetscape 
um, in serving as a framework here where you can run many different theoretical predictions um, within a single, single framework. Okay, so um, the Jetscape looks roughly uh, like the diagram uh, on this slide here. So these blocks that I show you, these are the different types of modules that exist in Jetscape. Um, and so you can, you can read much more detail about these things in the Jetscape manual, which I link at the top here. Um, and today I'll, I'll kind of try to overview the important pieces um, that, 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 go into, um, that go into here, but without going into the details of any specific physics. Um, so in, in a heavy ion collision, we start off with some initial state geometry. And then in Jetscape, there are kind of two um, largely parallel streams of, of data or different streams of data um, that are evolved. So there is um, in the, the top uh, row here in the middle, the jet evolution. So this starts with a hard scattering uh, from the collision, uh, which is then passed into um, uh, some type of parton shower where there are different modules one can use to implement this. And then the jet itself is hydronized. Now, uh, in, in addition to this, there is the evolution of the bulk medium. And so this, um, from the same initial conditions, uh, we get some initial soft density, which feeds into a viscous hydrodynamics. And then that, uh, that medium can be hydronized in the Cooper Fry uh, mechanism. And together, um, all of these medium particles and jet particles can also be fed to a hydronic cascade. And so um, one important thing uh, is that you notice in this middle block here between the medium modified parton shower and viscous hydrodynamics, there's arrows going back and forth between the two of these. Um, so this, it's, it's important, um, of course, for a jet propagating through a medium to be able to get information from the hydrodynamics, from the, the medium. It needs to read the temperature, for example. Um, but also, in fact, the arrow goes the other way in Jetscape, where we can have the jet actually deposit um, information into the hydrodynamics. And so we will hear some examples, um, kind of the specific way implemented in Jetscape to do this also later in the school. Okay, but th this is kind of highlights kind of the, the main connections of how, how the flow of physics will go. Um, and also defines from the framework side um, the, the connections of these different modules. So currently in Jetscape, um, there are the following implementations of these various modules. Um, I, I won't go into detail here. I just will highlight that um, in the, the parton shower piece of things, so this upper middle block here, um, there's quite some variety of different um, physics that, that is implemented here to, to, to um, predict jet energy loss. And this is connected to hydrodynamics where there are also several different options um, of what kind of hydrodynamic code to read or even um, to, to pass in an external file uh, for something, uh, something of your own. So some, some of these packages here you see um, have a little star marked next to them. These are uh, optional downloads. So when you when you download Jetscape itself, these don't come with them, but um, you in the prep instructions also should have executed some commands to download various um, external packages. So those are the ones that, um, that appear here. So music, for example. Um, and this is then just downloaded and, and uh, there exists an interface of these external packages to Jetscape itself. Um, so we hope, of course, that this, this list of modules will continue to expand and will cover more and more physics um, as time goes on. So I, I want to try to give also in, in a practical sense, you know, what is the status of, of Jetscape um, in terms of its, its uh, um, ability to be used uh, at the moment. And so I want to say that the framework is, is available. It's been public actually for some time now. Um, current version is Jetscape 3.1 here, which you can see uh, links from the GitHub page. And it's, it's really ready for, for public use. Um, we've put in a lot of uh, improvements recently to the user experience, um, which, which we hope will 
um, encourage more people also to use this framework and, and have it uh, be not a painful experience. Um, and with that, it's, I think, an ideal time to contribute additional physics modules, um, which we're also very eager for and eager to support people doing. Now, I, I want to say another word also um, about what, what this means in, uh, in terms of physics comparison. So comparing different models uh, to, to experimental data, what is kind of the status of this? Um, and the more or less first physics results um, in the last uh, uh, year or months have, have come from what I call kind of out of the box models of Jetscape. So these are um, kind of reasonable, um, useful and interesting predictions out of Jetscape, uh, but not, for example, the most highly tuned, highly optimized uh, predictions that are possible. So this first set of predictions, uh, you, you may have seen also in the recent conferences at, at Quark Matter and Hard Probes. Um, and, and I also just want to highlight um, that while, while Jetscape really does contain a lot of things, um, it, it does rely on you as the user uh, to use it responsibly. So it, it really is a framework uh, for physics. And so you will get out the physics that you put in. Um, if you, if you configure Jetscape in a particular way, that's the result that you get. It doesn't mean anything you get out of Jetscape will be reasonable. Um, and there, there are a lot of uh, questions, of course, open questions in, in our field. And so um, one should always keep this in mind that um, there is, of course, quite a lot of theoretical work inside of Jetscape, but it is not everything in, in the field. Um, and so I, I would phrase it kind of as the following, that we're, we're really starting the, the exciting phase of this, that we're, we're getting the first um, physics results out, uh, which really are starting this phase for well-controlled theory comparisons um, between different models and to the experimental data. <laughs> 